Marvellous. Splendid. First class. Pip, pip. Tally ho. Julie McDonald here from Jules Guides. And uh, you may have seen some of my videos about London, but as you can see, today I'm in Croatia because my friend Alan has invited me to this beautiful medieval town, which is about an hour and a half outside of the capital of Zagreb. Now he said to me that Zagreb is far too uh, busy and hectic for him. And I thought to myself, well, to me coming from London, Zagreb is actually quite a sleepy, sleepy town. So I don't know quite what this place is going to be like. I think everyone's going to be like Bob Marley around here. Anyway, this is a beautiful 300 year old castle. Originally it was made out of wood as a fortress against the uh, Ottoman invasions. But uh, then they, uh, I think sometime in the 1700s, they built it up out of stone. Uh, if this was in London, I'm pretty sure they'd turn it into a multiplex cinema with lots of fast food, fast food restaurants. But uh, anyway, as it is, uh, it's rather charming, I think. Uh, I think I better dance now. So everything here in Cernik is pretty close together. I think you don't really have to take half an hour to get to the fishing lake, for example, which I think is called Orasia. Um, forgive my pronunciation. However, if you go by horse and cart, which is my usual style, of course, then uh, that is uh, <laughs> uh, going to take you a little bit longer. So we're going fishing for carp. I'm happy to catch the fish, but someone else is going to get its guts out and cook it. <laughs> We're here in, uh, this is the lake of Orishe. Orishe, I think that's the pronunciation. And uh, I'm, I'm try, trying to fish, but I don't fat chart. I'm not very good. I've got something here. Oh no, please. I feel bad. Oh my, this is a big fella. Am I gonna fall in? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh no, look, oh look, oh, what is he? Oh, okay, wait a minute. I just, He's heavy. Hang on, here we go. Oh, I caught, I caught me a fish. I'm telling you, I'm telling everyone about this table. That's a shark. I know what a shark looks like because I've seen one up close. You better do something about this one. <laughs> oh, look. I feel bad. Oh, well, you're getting its guts out. <laughs> Dindins is ready. Ah, you shall have the fishy on your little. That looks <laughs> looks pretty good. I feel a little bit guilty. I think that's the fella that I caught earlier on. Oh, oh well. Just imagine it next to some vegetables. I don't know what you lot are going to eat, but uh, this is mine's ready. Splendid. How about I? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? How do I get the? <laughs> like Gulliver. They, they were pretty short in those days. This is a uh, uh, 18th century Franciscan monastery and um, they've got some really uh, old artifacts and uh, historical books and texts and stuff here but I'm no expert on it so fortunately we have Tomislav who is a, uh, a Franciscan monk I think. Dragomir yes. Tomislav. Voila. Thank you. <laughs> so all this, all this stuff. What, what, what? Which are the, which are the exhibits you are most proud of here? Uh, not all uh, from Jews or something. It's small things. It's uh, uh, a biblical 
archaeological exposition, permanent exposition, uh, that complies with the function of the monastery as a cultural center. Uh, it's for general cultural public, but also for religious education of the people who come here from these small children up to the students of the uh, university and uh, scientists and so on. Uh, it's a permanent exp uh, exposition. This is a one part, first part of it. It represents the context in which the Bible as text and book uh, finds its origin. So uh, in order to understand texts, you have to know the context of them. And this is uh, shown here uh, by means of these uh, posters, the texts and some of the exposits which illustrate uh, what I want to say about the Bible as a text. So it's interesting, but it uh, opens the eyes for the public to see what they can learn. It's not only to uh, read a book of the Bible, but to learn uh, the situation from which the Bible comes to us. So this is the illustration of the historical context of the Bible. All my friends will tell you what an excellent chef I am. Uh, I built this all myself, of course, naturally. This one needs to get a bit, and this one needs some of the action. This, this needs to get over there a bit. There we go. I am absolutely delighted with the food here in Cerny. This is... Uh, I have to say that one thing they do particularly well in this part of the world is tomatoes. Look at these tomatoes, they're amazing. Look at that. This, this is all fresh, all, all freshly grown here. No genetically modified vegetables here. These were all grown in their backyard. That climbing wall has been taunting me sort of goading me ever since we arrived in this little camping spot here. Later perhaps. First, let's eat. <laughs> I'm very afraid. This is none of the equipment fits me. I'm too big. Come on. I'm too tired. 
I can't go any higher. You can sit down. Oh, 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 yeah. oh my goodness. You just sit down. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> How undignified. <laughs> Like a fairy, like the sugar plum fairy. <laughs> well done. Oh, that was good fun, thank you. <laughs> that was good. Splendid! Well, oh, yeah, Julie, Julie, um, <laughs> Julie. I'm, uh, I'm very sad to say that my time in Cernik is uh, drawing to a close. But fortunately, uh, Stenko Lazic, this gentleman to my right, and uh, his friend uh, Vito have invited us for what looks like a, a kind of medieval banquet or something. I don't know. We're going to be eating all this traditional Croatian food. Um, I don't know what it's called, but we're here in, in his winery at Stanal, which is in the region of uh, Apodje, I think. Um, it's a lovely place, you can come and visit if you like. They've got uh, several rooms upstairs with uh, double beds. They've even got a presidential suite, I think, that you could stay in. But enough of me rabbiting on. I want to suck into some of this grub. So, uh, Jivali, 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 Cheers. Everyone keeps saying cheers to me. They remind me very much of myself. Um, we have here Chobarnats. Chobarnats. I cannot pronounce it properly, but it's a, a lovely meat stew. I'm going to surprise you here. It has meat in it. Quite, quite uh, meat. <laughs> it does feature quite heavily in the uh, diet here in Slavonia. But it's a very traditional Slavonian stew. And... Uh, if it's not spicy enough for you, it's volita. Thank you. Volita. Um, you can, uh, you can. Uh, it does come with this rather spicy soup that you can add to it. Uh, uh, here we go. Marvelous. Splendid. So yeah, please, uh, please feel free to turn it into an incredibly spicy stew with this boiling hot chili. Um, and uh, all it leads for me to say, oh, I suppose I've got to better serve myself. And. Uh, Wish you all uh, Dobrtek, which means one of a tea. Bravo. Bravo.